there are lots of things to do and if you're a family traveling there is an awesome parklands with a little splash pad water fun area the watermelon festival oh yes if you time it for that the best course. melons in queensland yeah so they say and there's even the giant watermelon slice that you can get a selfie with. it's probably the best big thing you yeah. know we're all obsessed with big things here in australia big pineapple big banana as far as big things go they've nailed this they have isn't it good it's a good big watermelon it is a good big watermelon it's awesome yeah How are you feeling, Jasperini? Pretty good. Pretty, Pretty good. good. All right, that's good. It's <laughs> good. Pretty good considering you literally just woke up. <laughs> yes. Well, it's also our second last travel day of this 28 day itinerary. Amazing. And so when you're on the way home, it can get a little bit more tense in the car. Yeah, it's definitely a different feel on the way home than it is on the way out there, that is for sure. But pretty exciting, really. Our next uh, itinerary yeah. is back into Northern Territory. Yes. Up to Catherine. Yes. And so, yeah, we we'll, can't wait to share that with you. I know. New locations we've never been before either, which yeah. I'm so excited about. Golf country. All right. Last night, rookie that mistake. Not that sort of golf, no. no. Uh, I did tell Katie that there was a dry. There's definitely a dry here. So she did all the washing. It was late in the it's afternoon. It's so funny that I actually even listened to you considering. Oh. Well, no, like. There we go. The truth know, is revealed. I do, I do the washing. It's mm -hmm. funny that I went, yeah, cool. Okay, thanks. You know. <laughs> so we end, <laughs> we end up with the Chinese laundry. We did. It, there's clothes and undies and shirts and yeah. things all hung across the van. Anyways. It's not bad, actually, especially with the heater. Like, things tend to dry fairly quickly. It was so good when we went over to there. And How we, lovely. There was the communal fire and, mm. and a number of campers over there. And then Andy, who's the incoming caretaker, as Graham and Kay are leaving, said, uh, can we invite you to speak? Could you say a few words, maybe a Q&A? Which we did. So that was a good 45 minutes of chatting. and Yeah, we kind of took over the fire ring, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, but, it, gee, it was good. It's a good reminder that, you know, everyone is the same when it comes to sharing a fire. Yeah. And you just can be storytellers and everyone wants to tell their part of their story. Yep. And it was just very cool. Yeah, it was awesome. So thank it you, guys. Awesome. Yeah. So having us out here again at Charleville Bush Camp. Yep. Awesome. Great yep. place to stop. We are on our way to Chinchilla. Mm, maybe. maybe. Or Miles. We're not sure because we are, we both woke up and went, oh, we're feeling a bit, bit tired today. Yeah. So Miles is probably, is it about 60 or so K this side of Chinchilla? So I think let's just see how we're traveling yeah. and how you're feeling. It's not a big deal, is it? 60 kilometers. But if you're no. on the other end, then you're feeling stuff then you should stop so. yeah exactly so All we'll right. see where we end up who knows they're both sweet little towns so coffee yeah. <laughs> all right you happy jasper any yeah. you're always happy all right man. let's do it right oh, let's, oh, let's go <laughs>
pulled over in Roma. I forgot that we were passing through here and it's such a fantastic stopover. I mean, we've just pulled in literally so Katie can make us Hello. some lunch. G'day, you two. Hi. Hi. Look. Oh, you've got your iMovie going? Mm-hmm. Very good. Jasper's creating his own short films at the moment on our destinations. Big Rig Station. <laughs> and writing a book and... Yeah. Oh, doing a great job, mate. Rhymer's fantastic. They have one of the best night experiences that we've seen. And I think when we first did it, which was only, I think, maybe four or five months ago, we thought, oh, the price point's a little bit steep, to be honest. I think it was $25 for adults and $15 for kids. Uh, and then when you get there, you, you get uh, a guide who is a local lady who's actually really the brains and the the heavy lifting behind getting the big rig tower that's been installed here which is quite impressive sight in itself uh, so she was behind getting all the funding which took quite a lot of years as you could imagine and then the night tour is a video and audible presentation it's a light and sound show with the history of Roma and it's really fantastic and as you enter you get a little port glass that has the big rig on it and it's full of pork. Yes, you don't just get the glass. No, and you get to keep the glass, which yeah. is really great. And then they also give you blankies and you're out under the stars. And and yeah. if there's a kid, you get like this cool lollipop. What else did I get? <laughs> oh gosh, and an apple it. juice, I think? Yeah. I yeah, and I had an apple juice. Good memory. So it ends up this really great value packed yeah. experience that um, you then tell everyone about, which is what we're doing. We stayed directly behind us here at the Big Rig Caravan Park, which meant that it was walking distance. And there's a daytime museum. If you go in uh, during the day, then you can also then see the night show. And I think they do like a, a combo ticket or something, which is cool, which means you can walk up the tower. There is a very large, probably the largest miniature railway system that we've ever seen. It even crosses the river and goes over into the main large park, uh, again, opposite the Big Rig. But both times we've been here, unfortunately, it's been closed. So I think it's it's limited hours of operation. It's probably volunteer-led, as many of these things are. So you'd need to check that. Anyway, we'll have our lunch. This is really just a half-hour stop, a cup of tea, a beautiful wrap. Look at that. It's our go-to. So easy on travel days, hey? Well, I mean, you've got such an amazing wifey love, yeah. Katie. And it like also I... goes all the way down mm. past the museum. Yes. Comes all the way back up, goes through the shed. It's, like, it's straight very cool. The shed. It would be great to be here when it's operating. So, another major thing they have here is at Easter, they have an incredible Easter show. So, hey, we would love to come for that. What were you saying just before Jasper interrupted? Oh, you, 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 you <laughs> have an amazing wifey. Look at that, see? She doesn't hear it enough, does she? I hear it all the time, babe. Okay, here we are, Miles BP, diesel, $1.78.9, boom. Battle of the Bowsers goes to Miles BP, so far. We've still got probably one more tank to fill when we get to the Gold Coast so that we, we start and finish with a full tank so we can give you the, the totals. But the reason why we're filling up here in Miles, it's 50 kilometers thereabouts west of Chinchilla, is because Graham, who is the caretaker at Charleville Bush Camp, so you can tell I'm at the end of 28 days dry. He's from Chinchilla and he's the caretaker back out there and he said, hey, hot tip, fill up in miles because it's 15 cents a litre, generally speaking, than it will be in Chinchilla. So thank you, mate, because that's a big saving when you're you know, filling up almost 100 litres of fuel. So awesome we had a win now when we get to chinchilla we're actually going to a brand new campsite and it is a, a koala park as well it's a private property it's a hip camp so when we get down there we'll share that with you looking forward to getting in setting up the campfire and having a glass of vino and a nice rest tonight before we make it into the goldie tomorrow
how good is this? Chinchilla. Katie's in a happy place. Jasper's inside, chilling out. We're getting a little bit of parent time. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, don't recline. You'll be asleep. Look, I will. Okay, 460 kilometre days is on the, the higher end of, of what we would ever recommend. If you could do three to 400 kilometres uh, in, in a day when you're trying to do an itinerary like this, it is perfect. We did sort of bank a few extra kilometers today because that means we've only got 300 kilometers into the gold coast tomorrow yeah. which makes for a very easy day for our last travel day get to see the grandparents my mum and dad papa feel good and <laughs> granny feel so good nice. which would be brilliant for jasper and brilliant for all of us but let's talk to you about this property because as far as uh, you know a final night camping yeah, out awesome. on the end of this 28 day journey Wow, it is such a great surprise when you are able to find something that is as unexpected as this. It's five minutes to town. It's set on 300 acres. There's the beautiful lagoons. It's called Reuben Lagoons. Mm. And the owner-operators are fantastic. Yeah, great characters. The whole experience, and I just want to give Graham from Charleville a really quick shout out to say thank you very much for the recommendation to stay here. Gotta love a recommendation for a great campsite. Everything about this experience so far, and we've only been here a minute, has been awesome. From just the moment I even hit confirm on the hip camp booking, so you will find it on hip camp, uh, Shelley and Murray own and operate this amazing property. What I love, aside from how awesome Murray is, he is such a character. What an energetic <laughs> guy. Yeah. For someone who's managing a 300 acre property by himself or with Shelley, yeah. is remarkable. He's just joyful. He's just yeah. great to chat to. What I love though is that it's not just all bush camping, which is fantastic. And we are in the unpowered on the unpowered side of the lagoon and it is beautiful bush camping but what they have done they've got i think it's like 24 powered sites available all with water so you can have the best of both worlds you can still feel like you're bush camping mm. but have access to power and water if that's what you need or if that's what you would like when you come out here so I think that is just fantastic and then they've just scattered around canoes and kayaks, kayaks and a couple of the funny you know what are they called Paul the pedal boats <laughs> yes. what's funny about them I think Katie would be funny in one we might get a shot of Katie in one to see how she <laughs> goes keen to get out in one we should do it. Uh, the bird life is amazing. Whenever you've got a large dam like this, the wildlife is always going to be great. Do you know the number one comment that they get, I, I got to speak to Murray and ask him about the property and tell us a little bit about your history. I think he said they've been here 38 years. Yeah, wow. uh, but the number one comment they get is that people will come here, book for two nights, end up staying for two weeks yeah. because it is so quiet. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, and mm. what's awesome is that if you can afford, you know, more than the one night, yeah, Chinchilla is great, and there are there are lots of things to do. Mm. And if you're a family travelling, there is an awesome parklands with a little splash pad water fun area. The watermelon festival. Oh yeah, it's a good time for that. The best course. melons in Queensland. Yeah, so they say. And there's even the giant watermelon slice that you can get a selfie yeah. with. It's probably oh, the nice. best big thing. You know, we're all obsessed with big things here in Australia, big pineapple, big banana. As far as big things go, they've nailed this. They have. Isn't it good? It's a good big watermelon. It is a good big watermelon. It's awesome. Yeah. Yes, but no, just awesome. I think we are going to have such a great sleep here tonight. Yeah. And we, we literally rolled in, set up the campfire, took a minute, probably threw the drone up to get some great footage. And God bless you, Murray. He bought me over a sneaky little whiskey. I've got it on a couple of ice cubes. He said, what's your what's your, uh, your poison, mate? What do you like drinking? I said, well, actually, mate, it's a funny story. I haven't drunk for a year. And he said, I've got just the thing. Yeah. Anyway, he has bought me back this beautiful drop. Thank you, mate. Yeah. How I've already got that? a little bit of a smile on. Oh, my gosh. You're going to be asleep before we know it. Ah, thank you, Chinchilla. What a trip, hey? Awesome mm. way to 
to spend our last night. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. Beautiful watching. Well done for driving all of those thousands of kilometres. Well, we're going to tally it all up. We're going to actually put together the wrap-up, the complete Uluru return wrap-up. That'll be coming up soon. All right. Love it back to the fire. Look at that child. Are you guys ready? Yes. But can we have a second? Here we go. I'm going to push you out. How's that going for you? This is going well. Let's go a bit faster. Look. Yep, we're going the right way. Now let's put it straight. I might actually push this time. Yeah, we're going. Oh yeah, we're moving now, baby. Ow! Look out! Olympics! Good morning, everyone. Good How morning. are you this morning, Jasper? Awesome. Great. Is that because this is our last day on the road for this journey? Yes, and also, do you know who we're seeing? <laughs> I think I'm related to them. <laughs> of course you are, Dad. Granny and Granddad. You ripper. How good is My that? My Granny and Granddad. Yes, nothing better than a visit with Granny and Granddad, uh, and especially after a long road trip, mm -hmm. to get one of mum's home cooked meals. Oh, and it's our favourite, it. isn't it? What's she cooking up for us tonight, mate? Mm, mac and cheese. Macaroni cheese. More cheese than mac, I think. <laughs> Do you know what? At this point, just having somebody make a meal for us tonight when we get back in that I don't have to think about is just a total godsend. Thank I you, I love Granny. my mum. She's the best. Thank you, mum. All right, can't wait to hug it out. Now, we are on... One of the shortest days for us, really. It's 312 kilometres to get us back into the Gold Coast. And we're going back to one of our absolute super favourite places. It is the Logan River Retreat. Yes. On the water there. There's a little Airbnb, so we've organised that for mum and dad as a bit of a surprise. They're going to bunk up there tonight. We'll have a fire, have our mac and cheese, tell, nice. our, tell our travel stories, I'm sure. Share those around the fire. Uh, we'll probably stop for a cup of tea along the way. We're going to go... A different route to what we've done before. We're going through Dolby mm. and then onto Toowoomba, down through Ipswich and onto the Goldie. It's pretty straightforward. It'll be the most phone service we've had while yeah. driving in one stint <laughs> yes. on this whole journey. Yeah, get some good work done, I think. Yeah, and then we'll uh, we'll share a bit of uh, of that property again when we get there. Last night, uh, it lived up to its reputation as the quietest campsite that we've stayed at. Again, five minutes out of Chinchilla. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh. I had such a good sleep. Oh, and I did too. Yeah. We're, we're, I'd say we're light sleepers mm -hmm. on the road generally, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, unfortunately, that's just the nature of us, I think. If you're not a good sleeper and you want to have a really good sleep, do a 28-day road trip like we've just done because, <laughs> honestly, at the end of the day, I'm so tired that it is good. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah, that's true. And it, it just, I, I think, travel... It's like, you know, when you're sitting in a seat, it's comfortable, there's air con, you yeah. know, you've just got to steer. But it, there, there's a lot of, particularly in, under tow, uh, a, a lot of thought capacity. You, you're constantly, you know, adjusting to bumps and movement and wind and speed and oncoming traffic and passing traffic and mm -hmm. mirrors and checking and, you know, there, there's lots going on and Kate's yeah. always working away and, and using that time productively and, and Jasper's just sitting pretty in the back. <laughs> You are, mate. You've got Getting the best buddy around seat in, in your the house. Armchair. You know how good you got it, you kids? That's what my dad used to say to me. Yeah. 
Yeah, but no, we've been sleeping great, particularly this last half of the trip, I think, as we're getting a little bit more mm. tired each day. The sleeps have been awesome. Awesome. All right, let's give you the last leg. And then next week we'll be into the wrap up. The the best, the worst, the you know the highlights. Yeah. The all fuel of the, costs, the facts the and figures and and really wrap it up so that it is a complete one stop shop for what you would need to know if you just want to watch one of these videos. Yeah. Right? Why would you though? Because the footage is so spectacular. You need to watch the whole series. Yeah, enjoy it. <laughs> all right, gang, let's get on the road. Here we go. Hey, a bit of calming music, I think. What have, what do you got, Jasper? What do you want to play? Mm. Give us a track. Give us a song choice. Um, oh, I know you what. What? M I C K E Y M O U S E. That's me. <laughs> awesome. On repeat. Let's do it. Oh, Mickey Mouse, we love you. <laughs> following the cotton truck and it's all strewn along the side of the road so I said to Paul we've got to pull over and see if we can get some well it's a bit wet <laughs> the condensation look at that has been flying off the truck in front of us hello hi, hi. okay this one's a little bit wet just from the condensation look at that that is cool, isn't it? Isn't that awesome? That's the real deal. Wow. There you go. Finally yeah. got some cotton. There you go, what a saving. <laughs> this entire trip, the mini loop. Yeah. Yep. Very good, Jasper Roo. Okay, Freedom Fuels. We are in a little, probably very unknown suburb called Elberton. It's about 300 uh, population residents here. And it's smack in between Brizzy and the Gold Coast, not far from Beanley. We're about five minutes from our campsite. Uh, this fuel station is actually directly opposite the famous Gem Hotel. They have a massive fishing comp on here through the year as well, and great pub meals we can vouch for. All right, uh, at a dollar eighty-six point nine, that is great price. Still doesn't take out the gong for the uh, the cheapest fuel. I'll have to go back and check, but I'm pretty sure that was at the last stop, which was Chin Chilla. Well, actually, no, it wasn't. It was before. It was miles. So we got tipped off by Graham. That's right. So. Uh, look, $1.86.9 to do the final fill-up is great. Like I said, five minutes from our campsite. We will collate everything, give you the exact expense. It is the, the highest expense that you're going to get um, through this travel, obviously, uh, taking four weeks. But uh, it's great. It's great to be doing it for the last time. It will take a couple of days to catch up and rest. 
and then it'll be smack on back into it. Look out, Northern Territory, we're on our way back, which we can't wait. So um, we'll have a bit of detail around the vehicle as well. We'll probably get a service for the van and the vehicle. Um, having done, you know, close to 8,000 kilometres, uh, it'll be worth um, just getting them all spick and span and ready to go again. All right, that's us. Let's do it. Guess what? Check out the digs. subscribe and share our channel and if you'd like more information on full-time RV travel and living visit our website thefeelgoodfamily.com there you'll find loads of free resources our weekly podcast caravan cooking recipes our monthly go RV magazine articles and much more we look forward to seeing you next week take care of yourself and your family and happy trails Six-year-old. Imagine if you were like fifty, like Let's me. Let's stop hanging. Rolling up. Hey, Hi. Lenny, isn't this great to be here? Gee, I wonder where Jasper is. Hello. Oh, Hi, oh Jasper. I can hear him. I can hear. <laughs> there he is. He's over there. Look. <laughs> so natural. <laughs>